as a student or a working professional we have a lot on our plates to learn and implement so let me ask you a question how often do you revise bro hello everyone so in this video we are going to learn about the importance of revision when we are learning a lot of stuff in our day to day lives so let's get started so studies say that most of the people forget around 90% of what they have learned within 24 hours of their initial learning so what does this say that we have to implement an active revision schedule in our daily life so that we can recall stuff more easily and we can retain whatever we have learned the other day for a longer period of time in our minds now if you are someone like me who binges on youtube tutorials news articles and new hacker news articles and podcast you must be of kind who is learning a lot of stuff on a day to day basis but as i have already told you that you forget almost 90% of whatever you have learned the other day within next 24 hours i keep on forgetting a lot of things that is when i decided that okay there has to be a better way to keep the stuff i have learned in the past in my memory for a longer period of time now there was this guy herman ebbinghaus in 1885 he did a study on himself and he found out that our memory or our retention capacity decreases by an exponential rate so he created this forgetting graph and in which you can clearly see that our retention or our memory keeps on declining as the time passes by right so you have to actively reimpose whatever you have learned in the past to keep that stuff for a longer period of time in your memory now the question arrives how can you actually schedule your revision so that you can retain the stuff for a longer period of time now i have googled a lot about this issue and i have found some answers i have created a framework of my own and this is kind of inspired by some quora answers i have read somewhere but somehow i have lost the links to those answers but most of the answers were agreeing to this you should do the first revision within 24 hours and then you should plan the next or the second revision within 10 days plan the third revision within 30 days and plan the fourth revision within 60 days so that you can do four revisions and with those four revisions you are going to retain almost around 70 to 85% of the stuff for a comparatively longer period of time as compared to reading a stuff for one time and then just thinking that okay i have done with this topic and now i can recall it whenever i want to it is not going to happen and you need to actively revise the stuff if you want to implement it in the future right let's suppose you have learned about javascript promises today and today was mostly a theoretical session for you right so what you can do within 24 hours you can just go out and create a small program which fetches data from some url so that now you have a working hands on experience with javascript promises now you can say that you have understood the concept theoretically as well as you has put some effort in implementing the things so that now you know how the stuff actually works and this thing should happen within a window of 24 to 48 hours so that you get some part of the theoretical knowledge and some part of the hands on practice as well and as we have talked about to keep the stuff for a longer period of time you can make some kind of entries in google calendars or in your diary so that you can easily recall what you have learned 10 days back or 20 days back or 30 days back so that you can plan your schedule accordingly now in my case if you can see that whenever i read something new i just make an entry into my google calendar so the items in basil color are the things i have learned in the recent past so that i can easily recall what i have learned and what i need to actually revise today so that i can reimpose the knowledge i have gained the other day and much in a similar way you can also use some hacks like that to plan your revisions 
and with that i just hope that you have gained a practical knowledge about how you can easily schedule your revisions and do your revisions and retain the stuff for a longer period of time so that you don't forget the stuff while interviews and competitive programming or things like that make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you have found this video helpful and share it with your buddies so take care bye bye